What's up, YouTube is World Franchise Guy? We're coming out with a brand new episode of our Madden 20 Jaguar series. Yes, we're still in the preseason this episode, last episode of the preseason for, I guess, this season. But take on the Broncos to start this bad boy off. Hopefully, we have another breakout performance by some running backs. I mean... Year was it the third draft of this, so the running backs may be a bit obscure by name if you're unless you're like a huge college football fan and you know the depth charts of all of these colleges they come from. But I surely don't know college football like that. I I am gonna say it myself. I am not a huge college football fan. When the new NCA game does eventually drop, I probably won't ever actually get it because I'm not an NCA fan. Sorry guys, I'm not not a fan like that of NCA football. But besides the point right there though, we have running backs preparing to do battle trying to get a running back spot. I mean our first running back right here, number 35. I mean Honestly, I don't even know their names, frankly. Toa Teo, I believe his name, I believe that's how you pronounce his name. Toa Teo, right here, is a UDFA running back we have right here. I believe he's a power back. Maybe he's elusive back, I don't know. But, just trying to fit in to our, I was trying to fit into our scheme. Say, hey, we can never have enough running backs, you know. Hopefully, I mean, we can get these guys to work out and do fine. Second and one, Toa Teo gonna break free, tries to cut across right there. Why is me taking out the two-yard line? But, besides the point right there, we're going again up the middle, and he's gonna be stopped short. Teo not getting it. But, fourth and one, Bo Nix under center. Hands the ball off to number 46, Darrell Pickens, and Pickens gonna be short. But, we're not talking about the fullback. Daryl Pickens talking about Toa Teo, and Teo's gonna go down with an injury. So, unfortunately, that's not going to be a great injury right there for him. He is not going to come back this game. So, I mean, I guess it's up for our second, our fourth running back, Austin Longwell right here. Hopefully your name's Austin. We're going to call you Austin for this video at least. But Longwell, number 34, big power back right here to the UDFA guy. I mean, hey, we how many, how many UDFA running backs do we have on our roster. We have Zane Dudek, we brought in Max Borgie, now we have Austin Longwell, so hopefully hopefully we just have some just entire running back tandem of UDFAs. But there you go, Longwell up the gut right there, look at that, second and age ran up the middle right there. Big power back coming through here, six rushers for 31 yards, not bad coverage at all. But Daryl Pickens, here you go Pickens. You know, he was a draft pick of ours. Kind of love it when the fullback gets down and dirty. Big pickup by him, averaging just short of five yards of carry. But Longwell showing you that this game's all about him as he has crossed that 50-yard plateau right there. Look at that. Over six yards of carry now. And Longwell, here he goes again. Up the gut, just short of the first down. 14 rushes, 78 yards. Carter with a stop. Second and goal now for Longwell. And Longwell in with the touchdown. Oh, you love to see it. Oh, the poor guy right there. How does it feel to be a professional football team, Denver? And be just letting up yard after yard to a UDFA running back. I mean, honestly, I believe, what, Philip Lindsay was a UDFA guy? I mean, he was the first UDFA running back to, what, go over 1,000 yards? So, I mean, they're used to, they're, you're used to these, uh, out of nowhere, out of nowhere running backs coming up and performing well for them. I mean, except when, I guess except for when I pick them a fantasy, and, you know, as a late pick. And I think, oh, I gotta steal the pick with, uh, Philip Lindsay. And he ends up having a down season. But, that's just me. 
punt wrapping down this game right here at just under two minutes. And there we go. Longwell is going to probably cement himself as a roster spot. So depending on how Teo turns out, if he's going to go on the IR or not, Longwell is at least cementing himself a spot on the practice squad. But there he goes again. Breaks out right there. Tries to truck the guy. And that's no good. Uh, 394 yards on the ground between all the running backs we use between Longwell, Teo, and Darrell Pickens. You gotta love to see it. We'll see their final stats momentarily before we wrap this episode up, guys. But if you guys do like this episode, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. If you guys are new to the channel, subscribing does count. It helps out a ton. We do upload daily content, twice daily, every day except Sunday, we just upload one video a day as of right now. We're looking to upload two days, but... That's beside the point. We also have Twitch. Check us out. Script, uh, the link is in below. Check us out. Twitter as well. Link is also in the description below. Until next time, peace out and rock on.